around the world, investors, uh, CEOs, different people, our local leadership is here, and I'd like to just take this opportunity to make a recognition of our local leadership. Uh, Honorable Peter Pondokaluma, please just rise and wave. That is the MP for Homer Bay Town constituency. I would like to recognize the Honorable MP for Rangwe, Honorable Dr. Lilian Gogo, Asante Sana. I'd like to recognize Honorable Dr. Eve Akini Obara, MP for Kabondo Kasipun. I'd like to recognize Honorable Senator Beatrice Ogola, uh, nominated senator. And I'd like to also recognize Honorable Dr. Joyce Osogo Bensuda, who is the woman rep um, for Homer Bay County. And I'd like to take this opportunity to invite our senator for just one minute to speak a single minute on behalf of the leadership, the local leadership that is present here. Karibu sana, Senator. While the Senator is coming, I would like to recognize the Speaker of the County Assembly of Homer Bay. Um, please just rise and wave. Uh, honorable members of the County Assembly of Homer Bay, Tafadali Msimame, Mtambulike, Asante Sana, it's a full house uh, here. Members of County Assemblies from different uh, counties, you will be recognized as we, as we proceed on. Senator. Uh, thank you, Honorable Governor. Your Excellency the President, Excellency Ambassadors, other governors present, Honorable Members of Parliament, distinguished leadership. I didn't know I was going to speak so fast uh, because I thought we'd get some breathing uh, space. But let me take this opportunity on behalf of the leadership of Homer Bay County to welcome the President to Homer Bay, which is a bay of endless potential. And we are here, we have no contradiction being present as leadership from this region to sit with the leadership of the national government because Article 187 of the, of, of the Constitution encourages collaboration collaboration between national and county governments. And so we are here properly and uh, our conscience is very clear that the national government and the county governments must work together to unlock the opportunities that exist at the grassroots. Devolution reminds me of the parable of talents that you find in the Bible. That people were given talents according to their ability. There are some who decided to bury their talents, and there are those who decided to multiply their talents. Gladys Wanga in Homer Bay has chosen not to bury that talent. She has chosen to invest that talent. And that is why today, as a county and as a region, we are proud to host this second investment conference. Within one generation, perhaps Homer Bay will be the Dubai of this country. Perhaps. Kirinyaga, where the distinguished chair of the COG, uh, would be the Abu Dhabi of this region. But definitely there will be some counties that will not feature anywhere on the map because perhaps their leadership have chosen to bury their talent. As I conclude, we here in Homer Bay are very prayerful. And Mr. President, we continue praying for you because as fishermen, we have a saying about the captain of the ship. The captain of a boat in Luo is called Madar. And Madar is called a god. There is something we say that Madar any such year. Such that if you wish the captain bad omen, then all of you are going to sink. So we cannot afford to wish you ill because you are the captain of the ship. And we are all in it. And if we wish you ill, we are all going to, to collapse and sink in the, in the lake. Your Excellency, I want to conclude again by going to the Bible. And I'm reminded of uh, a scripture in the book of Psalms that says the stone that the builders refused has become the chief cornerstone. Your Excellency, Raila Dinga is that stone. And we hope and we pray that he will become the chief cornerstone at the African Union. And we thank you for your commitment. We thank you for your friendship. We thank you for your support. There are many areas that we will agree on, but there will still be areas that we will disagree on. And that is the beauty of our democracy. That is the beauty of our political system, that the minority will have their, their say, while the majority will have their way. Thank you, and we welcome you to the Thank you very much.
much, uh, uh, Senator, for that wonderful, uh, those wonderful remarks. I would like to recognize the Deputy Governor of Homer Bay County, uh, Honorable H. His Excellency Joseph Oyugi Magwanga, Asante Sana, Nanajua Tuko na Deputy Governors Wengi, Tafadali um, Ayub Sabula, Deputy Governor of Kakamega is here, uh, Bwana Kitezo, 